Hi and welcome. Intrusion Detection System IDS and Intrusion Prevention System IPS are important tools in an organization to run its security operations. Security operation tools like Network Based Intrusion Detection System or Network Based Intrusion Prevention System or Antivirus or Application Whitelisting have higher operational expense or OPEX or operational cost than the normal network devices, for example, switches or routers. Now, intrusion detection system and intrusion prevention system can be host based or network based. Once an event is detected by intrusion uh, detection system, then there could be four possibilities. Either this event is true positive or true negative, or it is false positive or false negative. Now, once we talk about true positive and true negative, it means that IDS is positive or negative regarding the occurrence of a security breach and whatever it is saying is true. And once we talk about false positive and false negative, it means that again the IDS is positive or negative regarding the occurrence of a security breach but this, this time whatever it is saying is false. So ideally we need only true positive and true negative and no false positive and false negative because false positive waste lot of resources in investigating uh, the false alerts and false negative is the worst case scenario because IDS is falsely telling you that nothing has happened whereas some hackers might be hacking your organization. Now two more terms related to uh, these concepts is the FAR or false acceptance rate or FRR or false rejection rate or uh, CER or cross error rate. It is also known as equal error rate or EER. So once we talk about false acceptance rate, it means that actually these terms are more uh, relevant to intrusion prevention system or other security control or access controls. So once we talk about false acceptance rate, it means that an IPS is falsely accepting the illegal operation. And once we talk about false uh, rejection rate or FRR, it means that IPS is falsely rejecting a legal operation. So once you increase the sensitivity of uh, uh, control or of your IPS or you can start configuring more rules or over IPS then false rejection rates start increasing it means that IPS start even rejecting the legitimate traffic or legitimate operations so once you decrease the sensitivity of your IPS or you decrease the rules then false acceptance rates start happening or st start increasing it means that IPS now start accepting even the illegal operations. So there should be a balance and this balance is maintained by uh, CER or cross error rate or it is also known as, as ER uh, equal error rate. Now over here uh, the false acceptance and false rejection rates are equal. And this is actually the uh, true correct uh, strength of the system or of our control. Now once we talk about uh, network based intrusion detection system or intrusion prevention system then network based intrusion detection system actually runs in promiscuous mode that it is actually collecting all the network traffic even the traffic which is unicost to an individual uh, system but it is doing that in passive mode that it is not uh, actually altering the traffic it is just sniffing the traffic and reading the traffic only. But once we talk about the network based entry and prevention system then it actually interferes with the network traffic and it may alter the network traffic. And there are two models for deployment of IPS that is the active response or inline which I will show you now. Now uh, first we talk about uh, network based entry and detection system. So over here you can see that the network based entry and detection system is deployed in read only mode that it is only reading or sniffing the network traffic uh, in a promiscuous mode 
and then it is sending the alerts to nids management server and it is not interfering with the traffic actually it is just passively sniffing the traffic but once we talk about nips now over here uh, the nips is deployed in inline mo uh, mode that it is actually in line with the firewall so no traffic can bypass it so actually uh, over here it is serving as a layer 3 to 7 firewall that is from network layer till application layer so it is monitoring, uh, monitoring and uh, preventing the malicious attack happening at the, at the network layer then the application layer as well but you do not uh, replace the firewall with NIPS you only deployed it as a defense in depth that it provides uh, in-depth defense to firewall if any attack or sophisticated attack is bypassed the firewall then this attack is detected on NIPS now there is one aspect that is the false uh, positive uh, that once if uh, this NIPS declared or uh, detect any event but it this event is false positive that then there is an impact on the services of the organization therefore you configure very small rules over NIPS so that the legitimate traffic or operation do not uh, or, uh, should not be interfered now once we talk about active uh, response deployment of NIPS then this deployment is just similar to this NIDS over here but what you do that uh, this time the NIPS is also reading has read access to the traffic that it can alter the traffic so over here you just replace this NIDS with NIPS then it is in response deployment so it can reset uh, the TCP traffic layer traffic or it can also block the ICMP traffic that is the internet control message protocol uh, it is basically once the attacker tries to ping the internal or target system inside the organization then this N NIPS block this kind of ping attacks so that attacker has no idea what uh, whether the resource is live or not now this not is actually an open source NIDS and NIPS Now once we talk about host based intrusion detection system or intrusion prevention system so they basically monitor the traffic on the host and they also monitor the modification in the system files and also the running processes on the host system or end systems. So Tripwire is a host based intrusion detection system and it actually checks the modification or unauthorized modification in the systems file. Or basically checks the integrity of these system files by taking the hash value of the system file and if there is any unauthorized modification in the system file then this hash value gets changed and then this uh, trip file generates an alert so there are several techniques that IDSs or IPS use uh, these techniques can be pattern matching or uh, the protocol behavior or the anomaly detection which I will explain one by one so in pattern matching actually you look for the static signature of malicious attack maybe any string to a domain uh, if this string is found in the malicious traffic uh, then you declare this as a malicious traffic and uh, generate the alert or may and or IPS prevent uh, this uh, attack from happening but this technique is uh, good for uh, known attacks and it is very poor against unknown attack because there is no signature against unknown attacks other technique is the protocol behavior analysis and actually you uh, det uh, detect the violation of uh, the standard deployment of the protocol for example if the TCP segment has two flag on that is the sync or the fin flag then this is a deviation from normal protocol because these two flags cannot be on at the same time because sync flag uh, uh, actually initiate the connection and fin actually terminates the connection it means that a single uh, if these both flags are on it means that a single segment is 
initiating the connection at the same time it is finishing that connection but there is an issue of non-standard application because sometimes the developer of the application do not use uh, the standard way and do or do not treat the rfc of that protocol uh, and they implement uh, the application in a non-standard way so there is a famous uh, quotation over here which i would like to show you and it is uh, it says that never attribute to malice which is uh, that which is adequately explained by the stupidity it means that if uh, a human is uh, doing something uh, due to his stupidity or it is uh, violating the security of an organization due to its uh, stupidity uh, for example not following the standard R uh, rfc uh, uh, for application development then it means that you cannot do anything about that or you cannot explain his behavior now another technique uh, for used by ips and IB, uh, ids which is uh, is the anomaly detection and in anomaly detection actually you take the normal baseline or baseline during norm, norm, normal operations uh, of an organization or of the uh, security devices or of the network devices or, or of the endpoints and if there is any deviation from this baseline then uh, you declare it as attack but this uh, baseline is very difficult to formulate for com uh, complex networks so this was all from my side please stay connected to my channel uh, for similar news thank you